This is a call to arms. Cast off your current self and be more. MFT 28, the back workout. This is your morning mass workout to build your back. Your back is one of your major three muscle groups. Your chest, your back, and your legs. What happens when you work those guys? Your body naturally releases testosterone throughout the body. So everyone gets a little bang for the buck when you're doing back, chest, or legs. You're gonna go a little heavier. You're gonna need the straps, man, so you can really hold that weight because your grip strength will go out. This workout, guys, six exercises. A lot of mass building, they're all supersetted, and a lot of these workouts and a lot of these exercises we're doing are a little bit different than what you're used to. You probably haven't seen some of this stuff. I'm gonna dump stuff at you guys. Use it, shake it, see what works. What doesn't work, dump it. Six exercises are gonna blow your mind. Again, it's the mass build for the MFT 28 back workout. We call it back demolition. Construction is about to begin. Before we get into all this, guys, let me explain to you what the back's all about. Yes, one of the three largest muscle groups in the body, so when we hit those muscle groups, natural testosterone is released throughout the body. But in the back portion, anytime we are coming up, pulling down, right, coming from high to low, we are basically building the cobra style, the width of our back. Anytime we're doing a row or coming from out to in, we're building the thickness of our back. So depending on our grip placement, if we're in real close, we're building that thickness closer to our spine. Now for wider out, we're building the width of the back. This first set here, guys, is all body weight stuff. So we're gonna do wide pull-ups, guys, then we're gonna go to mid rows, body weight, and then the ropes, okay? Looks like this. It's the failure, guys, whatever you got. Here we go. Coming up and down there, my body's pretty much staying in line. There's not much movement right there. That movement's called momentum. That takes away from the targeted muscle region. We're trying to work the back. Momentum is a, is a shortcut solution, and there are no shortcut solutions to long-term situations. So we try to mitigate the movement. How do we do that? We lock our abs in, controlling the ret from the concentric to the eccentric portion of it all. Right when we finish that, back up here, body weight, we're gonna throw our legs up here and do body weight mid rows. Looks like this. The only reps you don't grow from are the reps you don't do. Finish every set to completion. That way, when you walk out of here, sense of pride, fulfillment. You came in here with a plan, you did it right. That's growth, guys. Finish that right here on the rope, guys. Come in high to low. Come down to your knees right here. Bring the rope and separate it on your chest here. So come in here, pregnant pause. And then back up. That finishes the set, one rotation of it, of the actual lifting portion. But like I said, we get a little more than just lifting here. We're gonna build the endurance of the muscle. In between the first and second, and the second and third, we're gonna continue the set by building the aerobic conditioning in an anaerobic state, the endurance of the muscle. We've got tire and sledgehammer. That's how we're gonna do it. We're looking for a duration of 20 to 30 seconds, continuous slams with sledgehammer. A lot of different variations hitting different muscle groups. Let me show you these different variations. One is obviously coming over top or right side. That's very common for right-handers, right? So coming over the right side, boom, that's good. But how about the left side? What's that all about? Oh, a little coordination factor we're working in too. Also hit from the left side, one time, coming back. Left side, and don't just go over the top, over top and under, so kind of a golf swing. Top, to bottom, top, bottom. Right side and left side. The third variation, standing on top of tight, really working the serratus in the muscles. The serratus are these guys, this finger leg, Think of like joints right here coming down. That's the serratus. We're coming up high, boom. So we take a sledgehammer, we're coming up high from the side of the tire right here. So we're coming over top and hit, boom, the side of the tire here. That's another winnable variation. 
Let's say your gym doesn't have a tire. Here's another variation, an alternate exercise. Still hits the same fundamental muscle set. Got a medicine ball, whatever you got. One that kind of bounces. Same thing as over the top. We're going to come over the top of the ball and then slam it down to the ground. Have it bounce back up and catch it. As we slam it down, come to our toes right here and then boom, slam it down, catching it and redoing it. Boom. Not only do we go over the head with it, individual hands, just right hand this time. Both tire or medicine ball, your prerogative, whatever you have. If you have both, keep switching it up, man. That's the spice of life, man. That's what's gonna get your muscles confused so they start adhering to what you want them to do, growing in your, in your progression on how you want it, man. Whether it's a medicine ball or a sledgehammer, 20 to 30 seconds. Continuous movement in between the first and second set and the second and third set of every exercise. two guys in our back demolition workout. What do we need? We need a straight barbell. One end is in a kind of a, a 90 degree corner of some sort, locking that in. We need some, some form of a two handle D bar right here. Throw some weights on there. We're gonna straddle the bar. We're gonna come down to a position where our back is pretty much virtually straight. The angle of which is about a 45 degree. Whatever you want to start your angle with, whether it's more than a 45 or it's right about here, it's fine, it's your prerogative. But whatever you start with, you maintain it throughout this, meaning you don't start going from here to here. We're not exercising the lower back. The lower back is going to be taxed hard enough, just an isometric hold to lock this proper form down. When you guys start rocking this too much like this, you open the window for injury, man, in a big way. That's what I said, man, the three priorities in a rep. One is a form. The second is the speed, the last is the weight. If you guys have to start rocking it, man, it's too heavy, lighten it up. We're gonna come here, we're gonna come up, bring the weight up, come up nice and straight. Once we're nice and straight, we're gonna kick our ass out, chest high, locking it right down in this position. From right here, we're gonna bring the bar up, so it kinda like racks our nuts a little bit. So you guys that are uh, well endowed, <laughs> might be a little painful, but hey. So uh, we're gonna grab this bar <laughs> like this, put our straps on there, Again, stand straight up. With our legs, we're lifting, not with our back. With our legs, we're lifted up. Once we have it up, then we go back down into position. So from right here, guys, we're gonna come down, and this is a three-part superset. We're gonna do love with both hands, and then we're gonna show love to each individual hand. First, the family of hands. Here we go, coming down, chest out high, ass back. Bring it up, bring the paws, and then back down. Our rep count here is somewhere in that zone of like 8 to 12. That's where failure should start hitting. You will get so much further in life and in the gym and, and, and your pursuit of excellence with proper form. Forget the weight, man. You're not here to satisfy anybody. F don't worry about their agreeability. They don't pay your bills. Don't give them any value, man. Come here with your mission. Focus at hand. Achieve what you came in. Motivated to come back and do it again the next day. Injury free. Ugh. So we can finish that, take our B-bar, put it to the side. Two weights, lighten the load. On the one side of the bar, whatever side you're on, you're gonna grab the bar with that hand. Same fundamental form. You're just gonna grab the bar straight up though. Bring it up, come down. This hand's gonna pose right here, and then we're doing individual rows. One arm. Other side, got a little love for that side too. Most people just do 
the one set, but there's more to be gained here in this time. So what we did is that we hit the dual hands and we hit right and left to ensure there's nothing left behind. We're moving for the best we can be. No wonders what if. It's your tires now, guys. So it's not done. Exercise three, man. Exercise three in the back demolition. Just like exercise two, we did a row, but our hands are very close. When our hands are close, we work in the inside portion of the back, close to the spine. This variation, we're gonna be wide. So we'll be working more of the outside portion, still the thickness of the back. How we're gonna do it, it's a superset. We're gonna be at the end of the bench here, kind of like a diver that's about to go off the 10 meter board. But we're gonna take this bar, and we're gonna do barbell mid rows right here. Why are we doing on the bench? Because if we were on the ground, if we were on the ground, check it out. I can only go down this far because the plates hit. But if I'm on the bench here, I can get a fuller range of motion. I can come deeper down, increasing the flexibility and the bellies of the muscle. That's why we're on the bench. So we're gonna do this, build the thickness of the back. As soon as we finish this, the second portion of the superset, barbell drops. I'm gonna do barbell rollouts. Our knees will hit the pad here, our hands will be on the bar, and we roll it all the way out so our head is parallel with the bar. Now we're in a decline state here, so as we bring it back in, what we're working, all the serratus, the finger light joints, you know, on the front side here, as well as elongating the lat. So, you know, we, we get both sides of the corn with this, with this exercise. So here we go, rep count somewhere between eight and 12. Um, that should be right about failure for us, guys. Again, a little bit wider than shoulder width, we're gonna lift our legs once we get our uh, straps in there. Boom, come down here, lift, lift their legs first. Come up, right to the edge, like we're a diver going off the 10 meter board. Come down here, back's kind of straight. Bring it up to our chest and back down. Drop the plate. Now our knees are gonna go right here. Hands are gonna be about shoulder width. On the bar, we're gonna roll it all the way out, man. When I say all the way out, we're gonna be right here looking up at the bar. That's the full extension. Don't shortcut it here, guys. I promise, you shortcut it here, half-ass it here, no one takes it easy when you're out there. Pay your dues here on your terms. All right, here we go. Again, same rep count, about 10 to 12. Roll it out, all the way down. A little bit of a pause right here, and this is when your lats really activate to pull back in. That's the money right there. That's why we're here to grow. Right here is where we're really growing. Ah, you're feeling the morning, man. You had that Dom's effect, that delayed onset muscle soreness. Ah, that's about 48 hours. Welcome it. That means you're working a muscle ah, you haven't used before. Waking it up saying, mother we need you. Life isn't a measure of the moments you take a breath, but rather a measure of the moments you take your breath away. That shit right there, going to the ends, giving all you have, helps to create those moments. Hello, Mr. Tyler.
superset consists of a low cable and a high cable. The low cable, we're gonna do individual arms, right side first, then left side. Remember before when I said when you guys are doing pull-ups, anything from high to low pulls, you're building the width of your back, that kind of like cobra style. Anytime you're doing a row, a mid-row, low row, or kind of a high row, you're building the thickness of the back. This is called shotgun rows. Works a little bit of both, a little bit of the width and a little bit of the thickness. The reason why is your positioning. So here we go, guys. The positioning here is kind of crucial. Bring the weight out, and then once you get out, stay away from the cable a little bit so you get that deep stretch. That's imperative here. Come down low, we're gonna be resting all of our weight right on that front knee as we're looking down the barrel. Nice deep stretch in the lat right here. Bringing it back, and then rotating it all the way around. About 10 aside, here we go. Worth the price of gold right now. Four hundred to be shot right now. Second part. My forward right away. Get some separation from the, the pole base. Down. And back up. Keeping our arms straight the entire time, back positioning, not moving, and just really bring it down. That's gonna really accentuate and stress to the lat right there, much like those barbell rollouts are, but now from a different angle, hitting a little bit of a different part of that uh, lower lat. Notice when I did that, guys. Once I got my position locked in, I didn't vary it from there. You didn't see my hips moving, you didn't see my back moving, it was just my arms straight. Bring it straight down. That's where the power is. Bring the serratus lower lat. Man, attention to detail, guys. They say the devil's found in the details. Same with your dreams. You're either living your dreams or you're living your fears. Here we go. Guys, two left, man, stay with me. Our straps, as much value as they were, we no longer need them for this exercise. What we do need is some chalk in our hands. Why? Because the exercise we're about to do, we need all the grippage we can do, man. Get rid of the sweat on our hands, gives you a little bit of dexterity, a little bit of, of uh, grip power. Grab a bag like this, man, try to mix them up in there. Try to keep as much chalk as you can inside. The people at the gym will appreciate that. Close it up, shake it off. A lot of texture, why do we need a texture? Two part superset here. First thing is we'll be at the ropes. These are called London bridges. Have the rope thrown around the back side of the Smith machine and then over to the front. The bar of the Smith machine is right here about knee level, guys. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be standing on this up top here and I'm gonna slowly lower myself all the way down, keep my body as straight as possible and then bringing myself up hand over hand back to a standing position, and then back down. Maybe like three, four iterations of that. They aren't easy, it's a lot of reps. What I love about this, guys, is I work in the eccentric portion of the muscle. What is that? When you make a bicep curl, basically, it's, it, it's the bicep shorting itself at a flex state. Flexing and then shorting itself. That's called the concentric portion of the rep. The eccentric portion is when the muscle is flexed, forced to elongate. That portion, the eccentric portion, is the biggest mass builder. You see it a lot in negative reps. If you're on the bench and you're lowering the weight down slowly, 
That is building more strength to your muscle than any concentric is. The negative portion of the rep. As we bring ourselves down, we're gonna be coming out very slowly and we're letting ourselves down slowly. So we're forcing our muscle to be flexed, but elongating at a flex position. Eccentric, huge mass builder, guys. As soon as we finish this first part of the superset, we're gonna come over here to our high pulley. Arms will be pretty smoked already. We're gonna come down to our knees and then we're gonna take our hand placement here and from palms out, boom, palms in. Right side, about 10 reps. Switch it up, left side, about 10 reps. This is a superset, man, that's, I, I get really excited about, man, because it's something different. Doing stuff like this, I'm sure like no one's ever seen it before. It breaks up with the monotony, you know? It keeps your body guessing too. It helps to fight boredom and keeps your body guessing. That's a win for me, guys. And it's a lot of fun to do. Here we go. Make sure no one's behind you. They're called London Bridges. The bridge goes down and comes back up, so about three, three rotations of it. And then we'll go into the high pulleys. Keep your body about as straight as possible, you know? Really rigid here. Over down and then back up. Hand over hand. That's the only rest right there. Again, our palm is facing away. We're gonna bring that down as we bring it down, elongating the lat right here. Bring it down, rotating it all the way around, all the way down below our shoulder, and then back up. Doing stuff like this, giving it all you got, man. That's what makes you number one and keeps you number one. man even though we're physically probably exhausted mentally we're sharp our dreams have never been more in focus when you go through that much pain man life becomes alive it's like electric one more exercise guys push through it's one set with three drop sets they're basically bench mid rows I call them uh, dumbbell bridge under rows because we're gonna hit the right side right bam finish it drop it and roll it by under the bridge of the bench Hit the other side and let it go. We're done with it. Come over here, grab our next one. Our progression and weight. We have hundreds, 80s, 60s. So whatever you guys want to go with, you're going for your first set somewhere around the ballpark of about six reps. Then drop it 20 pounds, going about eight reps. Drop it another 20 pounds, 
going about 10 reps. So we're dropping by 20 pounds each drop set. Rep count goes up by two. That's what's cooking, man. That's what all we got left, man. Three sets of it. Let's lock and load. Let's get it on. First set, man. And when we're doing this, it builds a mass of our middle back. What we want to do is we want to come here very strict here in our form, you know, very rigid. And then when we put the weight down, we want to let it hang. Hang, a really deep stretch right there. And then we bring it up to our side. Try not to do too much of this motion. Try to keep your shoulders somewhat square, you know, parallel to the ground. Don't, don't tilt them too much. Really use the back. If you're tilting too much, probably a little too heavy for you, man. Lighten it up. Don't worry about the weight, guys. The weight is just the ego of you talking, not the pride. Here we go. So we're going six, eight, ten. <sighs> in as man dead and gone they're dead and gone say hello to the new you man be proud of that person you've earned it freedom my MFT28 back demolition workout. That's your morning mass workout, guys. This evening, you're gonna be doing another cardio workout on your back. Same fundamental blueprint, but everything's different. The reps are different, the duration of rest in between is different, the sets are different. Look at the page below to find out exactly what's that about, and also to find out about the abdominal workout you guys are gonna be doing this evening. This workout, guys, isn't anything that you're used to. Watching this video, seeing how it works and everything else, and then applying it to your life. Come in here trying these things. It's gonna challenge you guys. This is not the normal workout because we don't wanna be normal in life. It's not about sitting back waiting for the storms to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. That's what this workout's gonna do. Give you the opportunity, sharpen your arsenals so whatever comes at you, whatever adversity, you can hit head on and beat it back, guys. No longer fearful. See more of the MFT28. Download the entire program, guys. Hit up bodybuilding.com. See everything there. To see more of me, about 200 hours of instructional video, hit up gregplip.com. But right here, this is MFT28, where we become more.